What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have released the 88 plus player pick. And it's a new player pick, something we actually haven't seen before. And the requirements is an 85 rated team with 50 chemistry and you do not need to include a team of the season player. Now the thing is, right, you would think they're not repeatable, but they actually are. So you can actually go ahead and grind this player pick out. But what are we going to get when it comes down to the first one? Oh, something I didn't know, by the way. I didn't know it was out of four. I feel it was out of three. But we're going to walk away with a 95 rated Sanchez. The rating is definitely, definitely up there. And I'll actually take that. Is this a new account? 109 wins, 26 L's. Not sure what's happening here. But come on, for the second one, are we going to walk away with a usable player. I mean, you can low-key say Navas is usable, right? Because it's a goalkeeper. But it's not what we're really looking for. But good rating again. Another person that actually looks like he's got a new account. Is this like a trend? Is this just like, what are we doing? Are we like creating new accounts right at the end of FIFA? Is that what we're doing here? I'm just so, so confused. Come on, give us a ni another high overall. It's going to be a 93 overall. Now, I have asked my chat which rating is like a, a W, let's say. And they did say 93, so... Can we put as a small W? Probably still not because it's Fonte. No way he's already done two. He's actually already done two. Keep in mind, this is an 85 rated team. This is not an easy SBC to actually do. The first one, we're going to get a summer, but this is Spikes we're talking about. So he goes for the, come on, don't, don't do it. We got Lorente. We got Lorente. And he still goes ahead and goes for the lowest overall. He's such a troll, man. He's such a troll. I would have took a Lorente as well. Lorente would have been an insanely good one to get. Oh, he's got 92 plus icon moments. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and actually open it and see what we get. Come on. Okay. So Shiro, we're not going to go for it. There's absolutely no chance. Rayo's actually not too bad. He's got a finesse shot trait as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a finesse shot trait. He's not a terrible one to get. Or you could go for Pirlo. Now, the thing about Pirlo, right, he's got those five-star skill moves. So he does look a little bit, you know, a little bit nice to see. But 75 sprint speed. That's, that's an issue. That is definitely, definitely an issue. So, yeah, I probably would go for Rayo here. But it's an L, 100%. But he's going to have the 88 plus player pick right there. And he's going to have 81s. You know what? We'll open the 81s after. But let's get into the 88 plus first. Come on. Give us a banger. Ruben Diaz. Memphis Depay. Okay. Now, decisions, right? Which one do you personally go for? For me personally, there's way better center backs nowadays than Ruben Diaz. Like, I would never say that when he just came out. Trust me on that. But there is. Like, Sergio Ramos, Adair Militao. You've got yourself Varane and everything. So, you might as well go for rating here. What has he got here? He's got two. Another person that's actually gone ahead and did two. Now, the last person, we got Lorente for. Okay. Not amazing when it comes down to the ratings around Ferran Torres, but Ferran Torres is 94 overall, so it doesn't really matter. And for this one, give us like an insanely usable card, please. He's not insanely usable. But once again, man, the rating is a W. He's chilling there with 9k. Oh, okay. Now, now, my boy Zixi's taking it to a next level, apparently. My guy's done three. I'm so surprised people are doing, like, this amount so early. But look at that. A 98 overall Verratti. Now, that right there is the highest we've actually seen today. Now, what can we get out of the other two? Come on, man. Keep it. Keep it there. Keep it there when it comes down to the ratings. Or we're going to see a Lapadula. All right. <laughs> How many times did we see this guy, by the way, in a certain player pick? I'm not sure which one it was, but Lapadula was the person that continuously was popping up. But we'll take a... How do you say his name? Marley? Mahel? No idea. Literally, I'm... as soon as I see the A and E together, I pretty much give up. But that's actually not too bad. I would say that's a W, to be fair, because you got this man right here. Oh, but wasn't you struggling for fodder, by the way? All of a sudden, you're sending three 88-plus player picks. All right. Okay. Let's see what we get. It looks so bad, didn't it? It looks so bad. 289 and a 90 in a row. And then we go ahead and get night free Hummels. Hummels low-key saved it when it comes down to the ratings. But we all know when it comes down to a usable level. Yeah, no shot. No shot. 94. Martinez. I guess we will take Martinez. And for the last one, Opera Bro, you did free. Surely you have to get someone like huge. Like a 98 variety. Give us him again. Why not? It's not happening. You all know it's not happening. There's no chance 
No chance it's happening. There you go. A Hummels, a Sabitza, and a Martins. We didn't see anything. Okay? We didn't see it. All right, he's got two. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this one first. Because I feel like this one's going to give us an outrageously good player. Maybe not. But when we're talking about rating, by the way, it's not bad. Not bad at all. We'll take a, a Yarmolenko here. And for the second one, oh, what is happening here? Someone's someone's got their controller drifting. Definitely not me. Bro, what am I witnessing? All right, there you go. We're back. I'm pretty sure he threw the controller out of the wall. Okay, so he probably stopped working and it's allowed us to open this one. That didn't look promising at all. A 90 gold Mane. Then we get this guy, which is a team of the season. Then an 88 Dybala. But right at the end, it actually saves us. We're at Jordi Alba. We will take an Alba. It's the first time we've actually seen him as well. R9 Step Uncle. Huh? What? 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 Like, what? Am I, what? Just what? You know what I mean? Nah, bro. Now, do you want to go ahead and pick him? Because you already got him. But the thing is, right, you can just plop that other Nabry into an SPC and you got yourself rating. He's not. I like how he's actually controlling it with me, by the way. Not a lot of people do that because I don't actually know why, because it, they just don't. Spinozola, Sanchez, Yarmolenko, decisions, decisions, decisions to be made. Now, I'm not sure how much Spinozola is actually going for. Okay, the decision was quick. Let's just say that. I see three here, but as he got three of them, he has. I'm so surprised people are actually doing three, by the way, because these aren't the cheapest things to do. They really aren't. It's an 85 rated team. I thought people would be doing one and just, you know, see maybe how it goes and eventually go ahead and do another one. But the fact that people are doing three in one go surprises me, but you never know what you can get, right? You never know. We could walk away with a 99 Neymar at any point, but it's not looking promising right now, is it? 94 Martinez, and we got ourselves a 94 Muller. For the last one, we're going to walk away with a Yarmolenko. All right. I feel like Yarmolenko is a player that's actually starting to pop up way more than I thought he was going to pop up. But 394s. When we talk about Fodder, it's not bad. Ronaldo Vieira. There's actually a person that's got that name. That's kind of like a... That's, that's kind of a good name. Though. That's crazy. <laughs> what is that? Ooh, hello. A 96 Kimmich. Team of the year as well. I don't think his team of the season is in here, right? I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's only the team of the year. Bro, I had this card in my team. We all know for how long. And it was absolutely amazing. But go ahead and open it. He said he wants Kiesa. Let's see, man. Let's see if we can actually go ahead and get it. We're just going to sit back on this one. He went for a skip player pick, by the way. That's, I think that's the first time we've actually ever seen that. Well, you know what? We'll have a 94 summer. I like how we get 94 overalls. Like, they're not bringing it all the way down to 90s or like 91s as the best one. He's done a single player pick. Come on, man. Give him like a really good pull here. We haven't seen no 99 rated card, which is something I kind of want to see. But look at the rating. Hello. Let's see who we get. Come on, man. You know what? Do you know the thing, right? Because it started with a Lapadula, I thought we was going to end up getting maybe even a higher rating, but it clearly was not the case. Listen, I was about to say something nice because look at that ultimate team name, by the way. Like, that's the first ever time I've actually seen someone put Aussie MF the go or just Aussie MF in their ultimate team name. It was something I wasn't expecting, but hey, thank you. Thank you for the support, bro. He's got two 88 pluses and... Unlimited team of the seasons when it comes down to Pozuelo, apparently. Okay? Imagine he gets to Pozuelo again. I will not be happy. Oh, Dumfries. Hello. It's the first time we've actually seen him, right? He's an outrageous player, by the way. Like, going forward, he's not amazing. But defensively, pff, now that's a whole different story. What are we going to get out of the second one? Cavani. All right. Well, I thought Martinez was going to probably be the highest, but we'll take a Cavani. He's sitting there with 1,000 coins, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because when you're giving yourself... A 99 Neymar. You know what I mean? Okay, it's no 99 Neymar, which I was obviously hoping for. But it's a Mertens. And we'll definitely take a Mertens. Did he score like a goal and an assist the other day? Or is it like two goals and an assist? I'm not sure what it was, but I heard... I heard he actually did really, really good. And then all of a sudden, everyone was like, who needs Messi? You know what I mean? Like, what's happening there? What is happening there? Oh, hello. We haven't seen a team of the season, Marcus Rashford, in so long. And we all know how many player picks and packs in general I actually open. And I don't think we've seen a single Marcus Rashford. So getting him now 
it's very surprising, but it's also really good to see. How much does he go for? So yeah, he definitely got, doesn't go for like a huge amount of coins, but 250k is still worth it. Five. Keep in mind, it's an 85 rated team for each one. And he's done five. I don't think we're going to see more than that. I can't see it. I can't see it happening. But we'll take a dump freeze to start it off. We'll definitely take that. Come on now. Surely we have to get one of the big boy players. The guy's done five, EA. Five. You need to reward him. Neuer. We haven't, We actually haven't seen... The thing is, right, we haven't seen too many goalkeepers. Which is kind of surprising. I thought we were going to see way more goalkeepers. But we just haven't. But we'll take a Neuer. Continue. A Delict. A Hazard. Oh my god. Let's go. Now the thing is here. Do you go for Hazard or do you go for a Delict? He's already got Hazard untradeable, so it's kind of understandable why he's gone for the lick there. For me personally, I probably would st still go for Hazard because of the rating, right? All right, we'll take him. Still don't know how to pronounce it. Going to be honest to you guys. And for the last one, 94 plus in every single player pick. And for the last one, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a Verratti. That is the best five we've actually opened. But also, that is the only five we've actually opened on a single account. And he's going to go ahead and open it. Hello. Hello. 96 overall, Adair Militao. Now, I know he doesn't go for like an extreme amount of coins as far as I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. But when we're talking about a usable level, he is definitely, definitely up there. One of the best we've actually had today.